We have completed various factors in the last few lectures and now in this presentation we will solve one problem. In this problem the load duration curve of a power plant is shown in the given figure. The load duration curve is shown in the given figure and we already know the difference between load duration curve and load curve. This particular curve is not a load curve because load curve is a random curve the x-axis is the time axis in this case also the x-axis is the time axis the y-axis is the demand axis the power demand here also the y-axis is the demand axis in megawatt but the load curve will look something like this right and to plot the load duration curve from the load curve let's see what we have to do the first thing is to measure the maximum demand or the maximum load let's call it p max and p max is equal to 140 so in load duration curve when t is equal to 0 you will have the maximum power or maximum demand equal to 140 after this we will focus on the base load this is the base load and it is equal to 30 and when time is 8760 hours this means we are having the yearly load curve because in one year there are 365 days and in one day we have 24 hours so in 365 days we will have 365 multiplied with 24 and it is equal to 8760 hours so this particular load duration curve is the yearly load duration curve which we have obtained from the yearly load curve the base demand is 30 megawatt so we will have 30 megawatt when time is 8760 hour so in this way we obtain the load duration curve from the load curve and the load duration curve we have the power the power demand continuously decreasing we plot it in the decreasing manner and from this also we can calculate all the different factors let's complete reading the problem power supplied using one generating unit of 95 megawatt and two units of 45 megawatt capacity each so the power is supplied using one generating unit having the capacity 95 megawatt and two units having the capacity 45 megawatt so we have to determine the first one is installed capacity second one is load factor third one is plant capacity factor fourth one is maximum demand and fifth one is utilization factor so let's begin with the first one the installed capacity let's start the solution part of this lecture in the first part we have to calculate the installed capacity the installed capacity is nothing but the plant capacity pc and you can see the power plant is having one generating unit of 95 megawatt one generating unit of 95 megawatt and two generating units of 45 megawatt so we have two generating units of 45 megawatts so combined they will provide 2 multiplied with 45 megawatt so the total installed capacity is 95 plus 90 megawatt and finally we have 185 megawatt so the installed capacity or the plant capacity is 185 megawatt this is the answer of the first part in the second part we will calculate the load factor we will calculate the load factor plant load factor and it is equal to average power over the maximum power the maximum power is 140 megawatt and we will calculate the average power to calculate the average power we will first calculate the total area and then we will divide it by the total time to calculate the total area i will divide the whole area into two different parts this is the first part the triangle i will call it area a1 and the second part is this one the rectangle i will call it area a2 we can easily calculate the two areas the area a1 we can calculate by applying the simple formula for triangles area half base into altitude base is 8760 8760 and altitude is 140 minus 30 we want 
this height here so we will subtract 30 we will subtract 30 from 140 and it will give us this height so 140 minus 30 is 110 so 110 this is area a1 and we will add area a2 and the area a2 is simply 30 multiplied with 8760 and we will divide area a1 plus area a2 by the total time which is 8760 and this is equal to 85 megawatt so this is the average power you can simply take 8760 common and it will cancel out with this 8760 in the denominator so you will have half of 110 and 30 half of 110 is 55 55 plus 30 is 85 simple way to calculate the average power i will put 85 megawatt here and the maximum power is 140 so we have 85 megawatt divided by 140 so the plant load factor the plant load factor from here is equal to 0 0.607 and the percentage plant load factor is equal to 60.7 percent let's solve the third part of the problem in which we have to calculate plant capacity factor plant capacity factor pcf is equal to average power over the plant capacity average power is 85 megawatt 85 megawatt and the plant capacity we calculated it is 185 megawatt 185 megawatt when you solve it you will get 0 0.459 and the percentage plant capacity factor is 45.9 percent you can see one thing if you compare plf and pcf for the same scenario for the same case then you will find plf is higher than pcf because plant capacity factor pc is 185 megawatt and the maximum power is 140 so maximum power is smaller than the installed capacity of the plant that's why pcf is smaller than plf let's solve the fourth part of the problem which is the maximum demand calculation there is no need to perform any calculation you can clearly see the maximum demand is 140 megawatt we also used it while calculating the second and the third part of the problem the fifth part is to find out the utilization factor so let's find out the utilization factor in the fifth part utilization factor is simply equal to maximum power p max over the plant capacity the maximum power is 140 megawatt and the plant capacity is 185 megawatt when you solve it you will get 0 0.7567 or percentage utilization factor is 75.67 so you can see the power plant having one generating unit of 95 megawatt and two generating units of 45 megawatt is utilized 75.67 percent so this is all for this lecture we will solve few more examples based on these factors if you have any problem you may ask in the comment section